Hello guys, welcome back to Yellow Nap. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add Pioneer payments to Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So before we are able to add Pioneer as a payment method on a shop, we first have to see or visit our checklist. So first thing that we'll be needing here is we need to first have our shop. So in this case, you need to create your Shopify store or create your account. And from here, basically just have a template of your shop. So it's pretty easy to follow. Go to Shopify.com, create your account, and you should be good. Now, once you have your Shopify account here, we need to have next is going to be the Pioneer Payments. So Pioneer Payments will be accepted, accepted if you have a Pioneer account. So for you to do that, let's go ahead and open up another tab here. And in here, we want to go to Google. And from here, we want to go to Pioneer. Now, in this case, when we, when we, once we go to Pioneer here, we want to go ahead and open this up. And from here, we need to create our account. So click on register at the top right. And from here, we'll be able to choose the right Pioneer account type for your business needs. So if you're a freelancer or online professional or remote outsourcing agency, e-commerce seller, BPO, KPO, wholesale, and a lot more. Now, in this case, if you're a, if you own a shop here, like for example, we have our Shopify store here, we want to choose e-commerce seller here. And from here, just proceed on following the steps for you to properly create your account. But I do have to warn you with the creation process on Pioneer, they, there might be a delay for you before you could actually use a Pioneer account. So there's going to be a verification process that might take around 48 hours uh, depending on the process itself. But yeah, so I would suggest first create your account and you can go back and uh, check if that if your account is now ready. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to go to Shopify here and we are now ready to add our Pioneer account. Now in this day, in the, this case, we want to go ahead and go to our settings at the bottom left of your screen. Click on settings here and from here we want to go to payments. Now from here, as you can see, I have already set up my payments here, which is Bogus Gateway here, as well for additional payment methods. But what I need to do here is we need to add another payment, which is going to be Pioneer Payments. Now in this case, we want to go ahead and search for additional payment methods here. Click on Add Payment Method. And from here, when we search for Pioneer here, so just to give you an example, we won't be able to actually see or view PNE here because we're searching by payment method. So what we need to do here is we need to go to search by provider and uh, input PNE here and you'll be able to see PNE. Now in this case, since we want to use this one, click on PNE checkout, click on it again. And from here, what we need to do is we need to connect our account. So you are not currently connected to the Pioneer checkout. Click connect to install the app and set up your account. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on connect. And from here, it's going to load up another tab wherein we need to allow per or allow the application to be installed into our shop. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on install app. And from here, let's just wait for it to install. But once the installation process is complete, you'll be redirected into the settings section again. And from here, it's going to say finish setting up your Pioneer checkout account. So you cannot use this provider to accept payments because you haven't finished the setting up or your account with them. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the account status here. So you are not connected to Pioneer checkout. You can use these to accept payments. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to manage here and it's going to load up another tab here wherein you'll be able to see the Pioneer website. Now in this case, let's go ahead and just wait for it to load up. Now in this case, in the next page here, once it successfully loads up, what you need to do here is just basically sign in and follow the setup process for you to activate Pioneer Checkout into your account. So this one is pretty simple. You just need to follow the settings, go to the proper settings here in payments, connect your account, create your account, and from there you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Elon App. Thank you for watching.